Hello guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to another vlog. Uh, and this week for the lats training uh, is a good one. It's, it's interesting. There's a load of new exercises I haven't had before and I've got to redo some of the testing. So every sort of six to seven weeks, you redo the testing, find out where you're at, find out what you need to change. So today I've got to do the max hangs, uh, so finger stuff and then max pull-ups. So the idea behind this is meant to be rested for 24 hours, which I've done, uh, but between you and me, I feel totally rubbish today. Just crappy, like a little bit down, a bit tired, just one of them days where you're not, you're not yourself. But I'm gonna push on anyway, try to do this testing. So I'm gonna do the two testings and probably a campus session today. That's the plan, so uh, yeah. See how it goes. Apologies about it being super loud. It is super loud in here. Uh, I'm going to start off with these max hangs. I don't quite know the way to do it. I've sort of got some, I've, I've already put some weight through my fingers just to warm up with it. I'm going to start with the 30 kilograms, which is what I did last time. See how that feels and then hopefully build it up a bit from there. You have eight attempts. So if you don't reach your max within eight attempts, it doesn't really count. So. I'm going to start off strong, see how that feels, and see if I can add incremental weight. Wow. Well, that was 30, and that felt super easy, which is good. I said to Carly just before I started, I was like, if I can do what I did before, I'd be happy. And that really felt quite easy. So, two minute break. I'm gonna shove five on, let's go five, 35. Let's do it. <laughs> 35, felt okay, obviously felt harder. Right, 38.5, I had to go with that because of the weights. 18 seconds. I was right on the edge. I seem to have a stupid amount of weight struck to me now. This is 39.75. Okay. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> so that doesn't work, so I've reached the failure point. I can't remember what it, what it was. I'm gonna add it up in a sec. It's on screen now, there you go. That is my new max hang. And I've got better, I've improved. And I really didn't think I would. I honestly thought my finger strength has got less, but my overall climbing has got better, but that is super heartening. Tom Randall, your shit works. Right, so max pull-up time. The idea behind this is you've got to do two pull-ups and that's the maximum level. Same deal as before, so you have to build up to it, which I have done. So now I'm gonna try the weight that I did last time, so that was 50, which feels very, very heavy right now. I'm gonna to try to go up a bit more, but I, I think that might be my limit. I might have one on. That was real hard. <laughs> no! <laughs> 52. So I've gone up a lot on the max hangs, not as much on the max pull up, which is fair because I was doing a load of max pull up, really heavy strength training before this, and I've stepped that down a bit to fit in the other things. So happy to maintain, happy to get a bit stronger and so psyched on his max hangs. Hey up, uh, last time I spoke to you, I just did that uh, strength thing. Since then and now, I managed to go down with a horrible, horrible flu. 
And stupidly, I'm so annoyed at myself. I put, I had three workouts to do to finish that week of lattice plan. I put it off. And like Friday, I came home from work and I was a bit tired, so I didn't do it then. Saturday, I skied all day. I thought, it's all right, Sunday I'll do it. And Sunday is when I went down with flu, so I didn't get it in. Now, I could ask Tom maybe, but what I'm going to do is I'm putting it on the Lattice Community Discussion Facebook page to ask the advice of other people. And that is one of the cool things about this, is there's so many people involved that you can just ask them for help. So I'm going to post it now, go to the gym, try to do like a... I don't know, I'm still feeling pretty rubbish, to be honest. So I'm going to try to do like a something. I'm going to try to do something this evening and then hopefully it's going to come back because I've got a real hectic week of Lattice stuff. Uh, so I'm going to post this now on the forum page. I'll come back to you and see what the answers are. So just got back from the gym. Uh, first time back in a while, had this illness, blah, 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 blah. Uh, <laughs> in the meantime, I've got some advice on the page. It's amazing how quickly people have responded. Uh, Orin Coley has uh, responded. Tom Randall has uh, responded, quite a few. So basically what everyone's saying is it's illness seems to be about how much you miss. So let's say that you miss a whole week through illness, then you should probably start that week again. But all I really missed was one climbing session, because within that session I would have got the three workouts that I needed to do to finish that week. So what I think I'm going to do is just sort of let it go, appreciate that I'm ill, I've allowed my body some time-ish to get back, uh, and pick up and carry on from where I've left. And I did have this weird thing coming into the gym today where I thought I'd be super weak because I'd been ill. I just, for some reason I thought everything would have dropped away and that'd be it. But I managed to smash these today. As you can see, some one arm pull-ups. Uh, it felt really strong, felt really easy. So <laughs> I think it's, it's, it's important to remember that just because you maybe miss a session or you're ill or something comes up, it's not like everything's gonna go down the pan. It just means that you're one session behind. And in the grand scheme of things, I don't think that's important. So thank you to the advice through uh, Lattice. Really appreciate that. That's gonna carry on ticking over uh, overnight. So thank you guys for responding to that. Uh, yeah, let's crack on with some more sessions. Hello, welcome to Arcos. Uh, and also, now. this is Teresa. I mean, she said she wanted to be on the vlog. I mean, what'd you, what'd you do with these people? You know what I mean? I, I... Teresa is uh, a new intern at Epic TV, and we're at Arcos today with Hugo because we're filming a new series here. And we did it last year, we're doing another one. Now, filming is finished for today, and of course, I got to do some lattice stuff, so I figured it'd be cool to do it at this gym. So, myself and Teresa, we're going to do the. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. It's on screen. We're going to do that, and then I'm oh, going to do uh, some three campus. Boulders. Three boulders? Like three times three? three? Yeah, one of them. So, you do you pick three boulders, you climb it, it's got to be a flash grade, you wait 60 seconds, you then climb it again, you 60 seconds, climb it again. So, it's like power endurance. She's gone again. Tell us about yourself. Um, hi. Hey. No. <laughs> First boulder, red crimpy thing. Sixty seconds. <laughs> it's really nice training in a different gym. Sometimes, kind of gives you a bit of assess, fresh perspective, new boulders. It's cool. Glad I'm doing this. Next boulder is a sort of slopey, poppy start, and then I personally use some knee beater. It's very important to use knee beer. Pro stuff.
Now for the next one, we're slightly adapting it because it's a bit too long for what we need for this one. So I'm starting a couple of moves in, finishing the red to the top, uh, and that should sort of tick all the boxes. Oh my god, it was so much longer than I thought it was going to be. One minute. <laughs> Number number four, uh, and we're moving areas again to another bit of Arcos. Five? The five. Boulder number five. Boulder number five. Uh, so yeah, different bit of Arcos, new boulder problem, getting very sweaty. I apologize for taking my top off, it's just ridiculously hot in here. And other people are doing it, look. <laughs> See? Final go on this boulder, uh, I need a, a stoke level, I need a stoke level. Stoke level. St stoke. Hi, stoke. hi, 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 hi. High as a kite. Uh, she's not high as a kite. Drugs are bad, kids. Kids, don't do drugs. Kids, stop doing drugs. We are just picking the final boulder. Uh, I'm not actually sure I've done this right, by the way, because the instructions say pick three boulders and do each one for 60 seconds, but then there's six reps. So I don't know if you're meant to like cycle through and do them again, or if you're meant to pick six boulders. Anyway, we picked six boulders. This last one, I cannot do the last move of. Can't do it. Uh, and I was gonna give My up. My theory is that since it's being filmed, he's gonna feel, I don't know, a bit under pressure, but still gonna perform. What do we think? Will I perform under pressure? <laughs> or will I crumble? Leave your comments below before you watch this. Pause this now, place your bets. Okay. Half grade more. Stop all. Crumbled, all right, but that technically is six to seven moves to the top. So I'm going to take that as a boulder problem. Thank you, Arcos, for letting us hang out. Remember, check this series with Epic TV with myself and Hugo coming soon to the channel. Peace out. See you in a bit. <laughs>